Yo, what's up? We are now at Ayongte Dal, and this is a Maxus E Deliver 3 with 52.5 kilowatt hour battery. Yeah, <laughs> it also comes with a, a 35 kilowatt hour battery, but we have the big battery. Yeah, and you might be wondering what the heck is Maxus? Well, it's it's a Chinese company. They make EVs, and you might recognize where they are from because if you look in the badge here. Okay, Maxus E delivered three. It also has another name as EV80, I think that's the other name, but Psych Motors. Yeah. Psych also owns MG. So this is based on MG tech. Yeah, good sheet. And you see it's it's quite long. This is this is nice. You have lots of space there. So let me show you inside. Um and also Marcus Bill, he's the one who owns it. He lent it to me. I'm like, oh yeah, awesome. See we have we have backup sensors, we have a backup camera. Where's the back room? There is the back of the camera. And the back looks like this. Boom. Voila. Lots of space. Lots of space. I haven't measured here, but it seems to be more than two meters of the length here. We have light on top there. We have hooks to secure cargo. There, there, there. Everything can be customized, of course. So, um, very nice, very nice. And then, well, we only have one side door. Some people complain that there should be also a side door on the other side. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, maybe if you want that, you might have to go to La Finto. They can do custom jobs. Um, and I guess this is a feature with vans. That there's, there are ventilation holes here, so if it's cold in the back, it will also be cold in the passenger cabin. And then here, don't expect any luxury. I mean, if you, if you think that ENV 200 is kind of basic, not very premium and lacks some feature, this is even more basic. Uh, you don't even get a glove box. No, 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 that is fine. You know, van drivers, they just want this glove shelf for easy access to all the documents, TPS reports. Okay, here we have the, the seat. And as a true Asian, I don't take off the plastic. You want to keep the plastic on until the day you sell the car. So you keep it on, oh shit, well, okay, nothing to see here, yeah. And floor, nice, okay. Show you here. Here we have 12 volt outlet, 120 watts. That's good. Uh, here we have seat heater, USB port, one USB A here. That's it. We have a manual handbrake. I will show you. Let's go on the other side. I'm gonna show you now the funny, funny thing about this car. Uh, oh, okay, again. We have also CCS port here in the front, not any funky place behind the door. And we are charging now. Getting 20 kilowatt at 83%. That's uh, that's pretty good. Okay, well, let me show you. If you go here, yeah, yeah so you want to keep always keep the plastic on. A, B, C, always be keeping the plastic on. What is this? First aid kit. Okay, but we have door pockets. Nice. What is this? Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Ow, 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 ah, my knuckles hurt. Uh, oh, look, okay. Look at this interior. Look at these seats. The van driver's wet dream. Oh, yeah. So, um, there is really almost nothing here. We have cruise control at least, not adaptive cruise control. We don't have auto automatic high. What, do we have automatic handling? I haven't figured it out. We have eco mode here. This is regen setting, high, medium, low. Uh, you can see it there, yeah, yeah, see. Uh, let me set it to high, what, what, uh, medium, no, no. Okay, okay. Toggle button, high, okay. Traction control, I don't know what this one is. This is an eco button. Uh, let me get inside. So the funny part is that, okay, there will be some more info here once we start driving, once we unplug, I can show you. But the air conditioning, it's either on or off. So now the heater is on. If I switch it off, it will be off. This is just fan speed. So when I'm driving, I'm like, uh, it's cold, it's cold, uh, it's cold. And then the fire of this thing, like, oh, it's hot, it's hot, oh, it's hot. <laughs> so I have to keep toggling this on and off. <laughs> and then the entertainment system is very basic. You almost have nothing here. Uh, this is just some car settings. Oh, okay. So you see, it's just reverse, neutral, and D. So I was told specifically that when you park, Always use handbrake. If you don't use handbrake, well, I wonder what happens if we. 
<gasps> I mean, if you, uh, I'm not sure, but I guess if you park in a slope and you're charging and you release the handbrake, the the the, the car might slide and then you pull the cable while it's plugged in. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't tried. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. And uh, what else do you have here? Well, we have sudden wires. Pretty big one here. Look. Oh. No mirrors, yeah, that's fine. Van drivers, they never have to look at themselves how they look like. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, let me fire up the heater again. And now we're gonna do, okay, there's some stuff, okay. So now we're gonna charge to 100% or close to 100% and then we do the range test. Okay, we are at 100%, I'm gonna show you here. Well, that side you reset the trip meter. On this side, you can switch between what you want to show in this screen. See, we have, oh, we have tire presser info here. And also range, <laughs> you see, it claims 223. According to VLTP, it's supposed to be 310, but I don't think we're gonna get that. And then here, dry motor, RPM, traction battery voltage, oh, look at that, huh? huh? It finished charging to 100% fairly fast. Uh, it was still charging at uh, 20 kilowatt, then suddenly it stopped, so I suspect that it's, there's a top buffer speed there, instant consumption, Average consumption, what well, was to here, we're gonna reset that. And still a charge. It shows still a charge! Uh, what? Okay, I'm gonna use eco mode. Wait, there, eco, yeah. And then off we go. And when you wanna drive, just put the car in drive and then take off the park brake and then off we go and listen. <laughs> That's best. What's up with Chinese cars and fake engine sounds? <laughs> and then the high speed disappears. Okay, weight check. Ooh, front axle. 1000, wait, 980. Okay, the whole car. One seven twenty. Okay, because the circumstances today, we start a bit late. Uh, yesterday, well, actually, yeah, yesterday and this morning, I ran the one thousand kilometer challenge with Polestar, so I had a little bit of sleep. And now we're hammering it, eight in the evening. So let's see, Mjösen. Yes, Mjösen, 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 Mushroom, Mushroom. Oh, so um, it's nice weather, but cold. I don't know the temperature outside, have no idea. We have to cruise at 94 kilometers per hour on the speed though. Consumption seems low though. Oh, let's see if you can see it there. Uh, hard to say, but uh, consumption is 185 watt hour per kilometer. So um, I guess we will drive until it's almost zero. Yeah, I want to know the, the net capacity on this battery. We just turn around at Mjörstorne and uh, consumption on the way here was, well, 195 or something. But it's going up now. So we had tailwind and some downhill. So I bet it will be over 200 total. Yeah, because now I have to face the headwind. Ooh. And also this car is noisy. The tarmac here is quite smooth, but once you get to the rough tarmac, it is so noisy. We are now almost at Ayuntidal again. And look here, trip meter, 168. Right there. Yeah, you see, 168. And we are here. So this is spot on, it means that the trip is more or less 100% correct. So now we're going to drive a little bit more, we have 30%. We have to drive it down to maybe 5%. Oh, I don't know if you guys hear it, but there, there's this constant high pitch noise when we are driving now. So it comes from a motor. The motor is in the front, it's front wheel drive. And it seems like Syke or Maxus, they haven't bothered trying to block out that noise, so it's it's really getting a bit annoying after driving almost two hours listening to that high pitch noise. 
uh, I wouldn't mind if it was slightly lower noise, uh, it's lower frequency. We are back at the starting point, so here are the stats. We arrived at 10%, we drove 210 kilometers, and that means we have 235 kilometers of range. Maybe on a good day we can get 250, 260, but not today. And then um, the consumption was 218 watt hour kilometer. Yeah, it's a van after all, but again, in a nice day, it could be as low as 200, 210. So, yeah, it's like a German SUV or something. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, I calculated that um, the energy available is 50.9 kilowatt hour. So it seems like the 52.5 is the available energy minus uh, one and a half kilowatt hour loss. Yeah, so it means that the battery, based on the top buffer and everything, should be close to 60 kilowatt hour. That's my guess. But okay, I'm not gonna do 120 kilometers per hour because this car simply can't go to 120. If you drive at 118, now if you drive at 119 kilometers per hour on the speedometer, it gives you a warning that it's going into some overspeed. So. Yeah, this is probably good enough. Highway speed, 90 kilometers per hour. So that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.